wondering something. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to break that 9.5 barrier by the end of this tournament. We're into day six, and hey, everybody, by the way, I'm Brendan. And we're getting closer to the finals. Three spots left, and the 9.5 barrier has not been broken. I said it definitely would be. I said it was very likely, at least. But we haven't seen it yet. We've been close. NASCAR 44 with a run right here. Cuts in front. Good block. That's going to cost him some speed, though. Uh, got the nose and actually the entire car out in front. I mean, that's the idea of a nose block. The idea of a nose block is not to just keep your nose there. You want to create force or create movement where you can get your entire car in front. That's a true cutoff. But sometimes you can only get the nose in front. It's just you're really pushing to really complete the cutoff. We have a Corvette, a NASCAR 44, a NASCAR 96, and a DeLorean. Obviously, the numbers of the NASCARs corresponding to the numbers on them themselves. That 44 looks nice, a nice deep blue it looks like with white on the front. 96 black with some yellow in there. Uh, Corvette and DeLorean look sleek and beautiful. DeLorean taking a chance at it here. Fast inside line. Will he hold speed to the jump? No! NASCAR 96, but he's spinning all around, and they're all in a bundle. The Corvette will get out of it. 10-9. <clears throat> Alright. And that was just a mistake by the 96. When you get clearance like that, get down to that finish line. Make that happen. Kind of flopped around a little bit. It cost him first place. Heat 3. Let's roll it. From the top, DeLorean. Ooh, falling behind really quick and actually sending the 96 back even more. Letting Corvette and 44 kind of get the run at it here. This could be a good chance to go sub 10 and see potential. Big jump from the Corvette, holding speed, kind of running up against each side though. He let the 44 pass and the DeLorean almost. 10-3, slow time. I mean, that's not good, man. That's not good. A lot of these cars lately, not as fast as our first few groups. Well, someone's advancing here. Looks like our 44 is going to lock that in. But who else really has a say in that? 44 has got 12 points, Corvette with 11. I mean, that's about it. DeLorean and NASCAR 96 really didn't put their best foot forward today. I think that's going to cost him. Let's see on the far side there, the Corvette running around the outside line, looking to speed ahead here on the drop, get it back, no big nose block, anticipatory one, and they're slowing everybody down. The DeLorean almost gets clearance, but on the transition snap, gets stuck behind the 44 nonetheless. Both Corvette and NASCAR are going to advance here, the 44. They did their dues early on in this set of heats and deserve that. Even though the Corvette kind of got uh, short-changed there. 12 and 17. And let's bring up our second group. Heat 1. Let's see how it goes. NASCAR 37. 99 out there. Mustang and a Corvette. Mustangs are usually fast out here on this particular course, but we'll, we'll see. 99, rolling around the inside line, going to jump through this big jump. Oh, not a lot of air time. Must mean slow. And the Mustang almost catches up. 10-5 on the clock. Ooh. Can we get under 10, or is, or is something changed here? Maybe this is really the second, uh, second strings of the Widowmaker experience. And fun. Here we are. Heat two. At the ready. Rolling out there on the far side, we got the Mustang. We now have some clearance and taking a big lead out of the gate. This could be an opportunity to really pull away. Mustang distancing quite a bit. Anyone back in there? 99 tries to push from the outside. Has a big line to go through. And the Mustang, not a lot of air time, but looks like a good amount of speed. Can't seem to stay straight on the back straight. And we have a 10-5 again. The back straight has been just like, like an ice skating rink 
for these cars all over the place skidding back and forth can't get footing i mean pick a line and stick it that's gonna pick you up at least half a second we have a dnfer just kind of sitting there probably got hit or something collision eh, no, I, I don't know oh just came late and didn't have the speed simply not having the speed And here we are, the Mustang skids his way very badly to the finish. Almost seems like a like a wild Mario Party game, you know? Where the uh, mechanics are pers uh, purposely slippery to make it hard to keep your footing. I mean, that's what it looked like. Mustang couldn't get his, uh, his wheels down. Mustang again, in the lead, 99, right up on top of him was really just sniffing him there for a couple seconds. Still with a nudge and a nudge again around that outside line. 99 looking for a place to cut by. He's going to spin immediately, lose all chance of second place, and even maybe third, no, he'll hold on to it. 10-1 from the Mustang, trying to bring it under 10. I actually believe that NASCAR 99 is one of the best racers we have out here in this video so far, but needs to perform in this last race to hold on to that lead. Good race by the Mustang, bringing that time down even further. NASCAR 99 will be in the rear this time, but also the Mustang will be. So they'll both have to push through some slower vehicles in front. Right now, the scores look like that the Corvette still has a chance in there. 37 37's out. 7 for the Corvette. NASCAR 99 with 10. Mustang with 13. So the Corvette could still grab second, depending on the race finish here. Right now, the 99's in last. And the Corvette skids to first. Oh, the 99. Oh, the 99 just found a way to second. That's going to completely turn the points on its head. How did that happen? And the Mustang got flipped off camera in the back straight i don't know what the hell happened to be honest with you let's see if we can catch something in the replay let's look closely at this jump everything looks normal for the corvette mustang oh mustang flipped on the jump upside down and then the 37 really didn't have the dexterity on the track to hold on to it with all the skidding and pushing the 99 actually was able to work back up and keep the lead by one point and get on with the Mustang, and deservedly so, in my opinion, to these finals. Corvette and the um, NASCAR 44 from the first heats, first group, will be out there to contend with them. Far side there, we got the 99. Holding on the outside line, going down the hill as the 44 ranges in from the far side, looking to speed up and catch, but the 99 has a break here, doesn't flip, doesn't stumble, and holds on for the win. And actually, that's our first 10.0. It is 10.05, but I like the uh, .0. That's going to bring us closer to hitting nines. Usually, we'd hit nines a little bit easier. We'd see some nine eights, nine nines, but we're just not seeing it today. No, well, last time in the finals, the very car who couldn't go below 10 hit our new world record on this track. So let's see if they can speed it up here. 99 on the near side. Fire side, we have our yellow Corvette finally peeking himself out. So look, seeing if it's his turn. To grab a lead. Oh, my God. Did you see the Mustang there? He might not even make it through the course. He just got nicked there. Oh, a tough collision. He will get through the turn. The 99's on his back and stumbled and stopped. The 44, <laughs> wow, finishes and almost loses that. Our time is 9.9. .9. The Corvette sped up. A lot happened there, but I'll tell you the important things. Corvette goes sub-10. Okay, 44 almost loses the race as the Mustang catches up because the 99 flipped over, stopping the 44 almost and letting the Mustang, who was behind quite a bit, catch up here. Look at the catch up here. Swerves, swerves from the outside line and almost gets the line to get second place here. If he had stayed away, he would have. Now we got a toss up here in points. Mustang has to grind his way back. He'll have some front lines to work with here. <clears throat> Front line Mustang far side. Corvette hanging on in there with seven. 
Whip around the curve. Mustang down the lane here and falling behind the Corvette. Maybe the inside line can catch up a little bit. No, not enough. He needs to get first place here at least. Try to. He can only stay ahead of the 99. What's our time? 9-7. Where is this yellow Corvette coming from? Suddenly, we are close to that record. That didn't happen in the first heat, but clearly some improvement here. 976. That was a record not too long ago. Corvette looking to advance here. Based on times, would deserve it, but has to play from the rear here. So we'll see if the Mustang can do anything about it. Corvette with 12 points. I think that's it. Unless the NASCAR 44 gets first place here in the Corvette DNFs, or same with the 99, there is no chance for a switch up. Here we go. 44 looking for first place. Corvette in last, but no. Backward switches to front. Will he finish? Yes, and that will end it. The 44 has no chance. Corvette will go up to 14, even though 44 will get to 12 points on the 5. So close opportunity, but the Corvette wasn't able to be stopped here, even with that flip over the front hood. Unfortunate. Well, at least for the 44. Corvette definitely raced fast, deserves to move on, and brought quite a time to this uh, finals here. 9.7, pretty strong. Gotta, gotta love it. Subscribe, ring the bell, join the Discord, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun. Things are looking hot.